want to talk to you about always trying your best. Sometimes we can get frustrated and we will want to give up. But we've already learned that even when something's hard, we need to try our best. Remember, that's called stamina. And so today, I want to read you a story about a boy, and his name is Ramon. And this story is called Ish. And we're going to think about what did we learn from Ramon about trying our best. So let's read our story first. And remember, you're thinking, what are we learning from Ramon? Ramon loved to draw. Anytime, anything, anywhere. One day, Ramon was drawing a vase of flowers, and his brother Leon leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? he asked. Ramon couldn't even answer. He just crumpled up his drawing and he threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Ramon. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper on the floor, Ramon put his pencil down and said, I'm done. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. I'm not drawing. Go away, Ramon sneered. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Ramon raced after Marisol, up the hall and into her room. He was about to yell, but he fell silent when he saw that his sister's walls. He stared at his crumpled up art gallery. So even though he didn't think his pictures were good enough, his little sister loved his pictures. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Ramon said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks like vase-ish, said, said his sister. Vase-ish? Ramon looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Maricel's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Ramon felt light and energized, thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines quickly springing out without worry. Ramon once again drew and drew the world around him, making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals, tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, sun-ish, Ramon realized he could draw his feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, excited-ish. His ish art 
inspired Ish writing. And he wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew that they were poem-ish. One spring morning, Ramon had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even Ish words and Ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. And Ramon lived ishfully ever after. So I want you to stop and think. What did you learn from Ramon about trying your best? I learned that even when something's hard, I shouldn't give up. I should keep trying. And so, we have a new anchor chart and it says, I can draw two. So put your arms up and say, I can draw two. Yeah, so we can all, all draw, draw. We can all be wonderful illustrators. So we can draw sticks. Right? So we learned about that. You use sticks for, for grass and for the sun. You can use circles. You can use boxes. You can use color. And you can draw where the story is happening, which is called the setting. And you can add so many details. So I want you to think about that when we draw today. So will you help me draw and write my best today? You will. Thanks. So today, I want to write a story about something that happened this morning. So while I was on my way to school, I saw a raccoon. Whoa. So I want to draw a story about the raccoon I saw. So first, I saw the raccoon while I was in my car. So I need to draw the street, because cars don't go on grass or on the sidewalk. They drive on the street. So here's the street, and my car is like gray. So it kind of looks like this. It's a, it's a weird shaped car. It, it's just a strange car, <laughs> but I like it. So here's the two doors. It has a weird trunk on it, and the lights. So the lights were on, and then here's me and the steering wheel. So I'm driving. I'm driving to school, and I see a raccoon. So I need to draw the body. Four legs and the head, and its eyes kind of have that weird, like, mask thing around it. You know, it kind of looks like a, a bandit. Two ears, and it has stripes, and a fluffy tail. Okay, so I saw a raccoon on my way to work. And. Hmm, what else? Oh yeah, there was a tree because then there's a tree back here. This is, this is grass. So there was a tree and that's what the raccoon went up and hid was in the tree. There was a bush. So, that's the story I'm writing about today. And so, I want you to think, did Miss Music give up? Did she say, it's too hard, I can't do it? Say, no way, no way. No, because all of us are really awesome writers and illustrators, and so even when something's hard, we try our best. I want you to put your arms up and say, I can do it. Point to the computer and say, you can do it. Put your hands up and say, everybody can do it. So I want you to go be really awesome illustrators, and I can't wait for you to show your friends the awesome story that you write.